Hello everyone. In this video, we will examine the step-by-step -step process of performing flow rate calibration. First, let's discuss why this calibration is important. Flow rate calibration measures how close the amount of filament extruded by your printer is to the expected amount. If the flow is not correct, you may encounter problems such as excessive extrusion, thick layers, drips, or pimples. If the flow is incorrect, you may encounter issues such as overextrusion, thick layers, droplets or bubbles, or streaks. Surface quality may decrease, and your prints may become brittle or structurally weak. If you are still experiencing these issues, it's time to perform flow rate calibration. Now, let's see how to perform this calibration in Bamboo Studio. Click on the Calibration tab at the top of the interface. Then, go to the Flow Rate section in the sidebar. From here, click on Manual Calibration. Before proceeding, make sure the nozzle size and build plate type match those of your printer. Then, select the filament you want to calibrate from the list. The calibration process now begins. The printer prints test blocks in increments of 5 units between plus 20 and minus 20. This provides us with a wide range to see how different flow rates affect print quality. After the first calibration blocks are printed, gently feel the top surface of each block with your fingers. We are looking for the one with the smoothest and most even texture. In my case, I initially thought the surface of the block label minus 10 was the smoothest, so I selected this value at the end of calibration run 1. After that, the printer automatically moves on to the second calibration run this time using a narrower and more precise range around the selected value. Once again, we carefully examine each surface. During this fine-tuning round, I noticed that the block with a value of zero had the smoothest surface, so I entered this as my final selection. And that's it. We now know the most accurate flow rate for this filament. To apply this, Manually enter the flow ratio value written in the record factor section into the flow ratio field in the relevant filament settings. Once this setting is made, your printer can now extrude this filament with much better precision and balance. Remember that these values may vary for each filament. We have successfully completed the calibration. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.